hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back i wanted to cover on um, the briasia terrell story now this isn't new this happened um well she went missing last year in july um but there was an update today that i don't i hadn't seen anywhere and i didn't know who i knew so i was like let me go ahead and just post something on my channel um this was kind of like a high profile case um anyway her name was briasia terrell she was 10 years old and last year in July, she had a half-brother um, who was going to stay with his father. His father's name was Henry Dickens. And um, she wanted to stay, too, with her brother. So she went over to her brother's father's home. And um, that is where she went missing. And today, well, actually, about a month ago, they found her body they didn't know where she was they did find her body in like a body of water by some fishermen and so the story goes um apparently it was sometime at night he was going to take the kids fishing and they went and parked and went fishing anyway the little boy got tired and went to the truck and said that he was just tired of waiting on the dad i think the dad told him to go get in the truck and just wait and so Time, so much time had passed, he ended up going to sleep. And when he woke up, you know, the dad was getting back into to the car with Abreasia. And then no one's seen her since then. So they were out apparently fishing. Or that's the story that the dad said, like, come on, let me take y'all fishing. And they parked up here. It was like a like some a body of water, the woods, you know, like a little pond area. And um, he told the little boy to get back in the truck and... You know, I guess so much time had passed. He didn't necessarily know what was going on with his dad or the little girl. And by the way, she was 10 years old. And then he gets in the car later on without um, Briasia. So um, at the questioning and so much time passing, searching for her, nobody necessarily knew where she was. But he was, the father was the prime suspect because he was already a registered sex offender. Um, and today, after finding her body about a month ago, they actually charged him with her murder. And it came out that he shot her. Not They didn't say everything that has happened or, you know, all the events that led up to that. But today they posted, um, or the news, it came out. It says, Henry Dickens has been charged with the death of Briasia Terrell. Dinkins is charged with first degree murder and kidnapping. Um... Scott County attorney Mike said Dickens kidnapped the 10 year old girl and shot her to death. And Walton said Dickens is the only person who will be charged at this time. Briasia remains were discovered on March 22nd near DeWitt and the identity was confirmed on March the 31st. Prior to that discovery, Briasia then 10 was last seen late July 9th or during the early morning hours of July 10th. So, um, yeah, I think it was like July 9th of that night. He just was like, let's go fishing. And it was so late. You know, the little boy just got tired. I think it was just hours had passed by him in the truck and went to sleep. Um, and I guess during that time is where Dinkins, I guess, was disposing of Briasia. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily know. But let's talk about his past. So being that he is a registered sex offender, he has to register every year, has to turn himself in, update information and picture and everything. So this was literally February of last year, just four to five months, actually five months before Briasia turned up missing by him. So this was him, Henry O. Dickens in Iowa. And as you can see, he was actually charged for um, third degree sexual assault of a 17 year old female um, or actually no i take that back he was charged um for a victim ages 0 to 13 of a female victim um at the age of offense he was 17 and this was in 1990 um i think in the same area so he ended up it was third degree let me see yes sexual abuse of third degree um so at 17 years old, even then, he was um, out here doing stuff to people and age, what it say, zero to 13. So a child, he sexually abused a child at the age of 17 years old. And since that time, obviously, he's been on the registry and clearly he is still crazy. 
I'm not sure what's going on with him and what all he did to Briasia, but we do now know that she was shot because I did find, like, we all knew that she had been found in that water, but nobody necessarily knew what happened. And so I guess they now have, um, maybe not a full blown autopsy, but enough to know that she was shot. Um, so that's one of the updates I wanted to give you guys. This is very sad. And it was really crazy because like when she went missing, you wasn't hearing anything. You didn't hear him say, oh, well, I last seen her here or this or that. There was like nothing. And so everybody, especially because of his past, they knew that um, he it was him. Everybody knew that. And she went to stay with him and he was the last person that saw her um, that we knew of. And so from that point, he was already the suspect. And so now we know for sure he has been arrested and charged with murder of Briasia, um, murdering her by shooting her. Um, which is very sad. And this is his own son's sister, his own son, who she could have looked at him like a father. You know what I'm saying? She trusted him enough because she wanted to go stay. Um, I saw where it was just the brother going to go stay tonight and she wanted to go. And so, you know, she ended up staying the night too. And then this is what happened. So this is sad. Um, we do know that much of Brasia. I'm not sure of anything else of what will be happening, but as of right now, we do know that she was shot. And yes, this is very sad because she was a child. And I, I don't know, like, I don't know what goes through people's minds to hurt kids. Even when he was a kid, he hurt a kid. Like, that's crazy. So that's all I have. Just let me know what you guys think. Again, this is my first time covering this story. But I did want to put out that there was a report on her. Basically, I'm not going to say that's how she died because she could have gotten shot, but, you know, but she did get shot by him. So he killed her, which is very, very sad. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.